Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about one more topic of gynecological oncology that is vulval cancer. Now, uh, in very quick uh, manner and uh, very briefly, so it is a very rare cancer. The age group is of 60 to 75. The types of vulval cancer, uh, the squamous cell carcinoma is very common of 95% around vulval cancers are squamous cell carcinoma then comes the melanoma and then comes the adenocarcinoma the one term that is vin that is vulval intraepithelial neoplasia similar to the cin that is cervical intraepithelial neoplasia so there are various grades into that the grade 3 is precancerous grade 1 and grade 2 are not precancerous so remember this thing okay now the lichen sclerosis is also a precancerous lesion or precancerous condition uh, for the vulval cancer. The, the HPV, the HPV, a human papilloma virus is associated with the 90% of the vulval cancer. The P53 variation is also related or associated with vulval cancer. Now what are the symptoms? The vulvar cancer is just like a, a, a local vulval soreness, itching, a painless mass can be seen. The site of that is of a labia majora in majority of cases 50 percent and labia minora is around 50 to 15 to 20 percent. Okay, so labia majora is the most common site of vulval cancer. Now how you investigate, how you diagnose the case of vulval cancer? Well, the vulval cancer on examination is, is easy and uh, uh, for most of the gynecologists, this cancer is obvious. So, uh, but still we know to diagnose it. So, the thing is because the vulva, the vulval cancer is more, more the most of the time, the vulval cancer is on the labia majora and a full thickness biopsy can be taken. So, after taking a full thickness biopsy, you examine with the histopathological examination. You also examine clinically the lymph nodes, the inguinal lymph nodes and the groin lymph nodes. You also take help of imaging for uh, identifying the lymph nodes uh, like CT and MRI. Now, let's come to the treatment. How you treat that particular uh, vulval cancer? The treatment is surgical. The surgical treatment is the mainstay of treatment. Surgical removal with at least one centimeter of margin with disease free margin. This is free uh, area. Okay. So you just remove that that lesion with uh, having a one centimeter of disease free margin. Okay. Now after you remove this uh, that lesion, you have to uh, remove or you can you consider removing the lymph nodes too. Now let's say uh, for the regional lymph nodes like uh, uh, regional lymph nodes like uh, inguinal lymph nodes and they are uh, removed but on the basis of where the whether the uh, lesion is the lesion is <clears throat> invasive or not. For example a micro invasive or superficially invasive vulval cancer the nodal involvement is almost zero. For example, if the lesion is uh, invasive in less than 1 mm, then the nodal involvement is zero. So, then the nodal uh, uh, removal or lymphadenectomy is not required if, if the depth of invasion is less than 1 mm. But, Ipsilateral nodal dis dissection is required if the depth of invasion is more than 1 mm. And where you can find this depth of invasion? On histopathological examination. Okay. Now, uh, both inguinofemoral lymph nodes should be removed because in most of the cases both lymph nodes are involved. If you remove one of them, it will recur. Okay. Now, if if it is a lateral vulval tumor, only ipsilateral lymphadenectomy is done. 
like from more than 2 cm from the midline. But if the midline vulval tumor is there, then you need to remove both sides. Bilateral lymph nadectomy is should be done. Okay. Now, in some cases, the sentinel, sentinel node uh, removal can also be done. Sentinel node, sentinel node is identified with the help of dye and radioactive assay and then you should remove that uh, node so if if the sentinel uh, sentinel node is not involved then you don't need to do further lymphenectomy so this is again a, a case of further deep studies of this treatment of the vulval cancer by far by so far you remember that that surgical intervention is the most important you remove the lesion with one centimeter of disease free margin and if you see in the lymphedema in the examination histopathological examination the invasion is of more than one mm then you also need to remove lymph nodes too that's clear now again radiotherapy and chemotherapy is also uh, uh, effective in the treatment of vulval cancer in which the case is inoperable or the patient or the patients is not uh, able to go under surgery so in that in those cases you need to use radiotherapy and uh, chemotherapy so so far you need to remember only this thing uh, as a undergraduate student sometimes vulval cancer stages staging is also asked so i have mentioned the stages uh, very briefly so the stage 1 and b sorry uh, 1a and 1b you need to see here that what is 1a the deletion is of less than 2 cm size less than or equal to 2 cm in size and on the hp examination you see that the invasion is of less than 1 mm no nodal metastasis has been seen the similarly one uh, b stage is of more than 2 cm of tumor more than 1 mm of invasion but still it the lesion is confined to the vulva and no nodal metastasis is there so in stage 1 you are seeing that there is no nodal metastasis once it involves any node then it becomes more than staging more than 1 so in stage 2 any size of tumor with the involvement of nodes or any size, uh, uh, any size of uh, uh, a tumor with uh, involvement of lower urethra, low, one third lower one third of the vagina and anus, it will be called as stage two. What is stage three? Stage three is stage three a a means lymph node metastasis more than equal to five mm. Okay. Uh, uh, one or two lymph node less than 5 mm what is stage 3b more than two lymph node metastasis of more than 5 mm and three or more metast lymph node metastasis of less than 5 mm uh, type c is positive nodes and extra capsular spread so i was wrong in this uh, sorry uh, i was wrong in this statement that the stage 2 means any lymph node metastasis if it is if there is a lymph node metastasis of any size of tumor then the tumor will be called stage 3 okay what is stage 1 and stage 2 we have no lymph node metastasis remember now stage 4 is when the tumor involves two third of the upper vagina two thirds of the upper urethra and distance structures uh, and again divided into A and B, the 4A means upper urethra, vaginal mucosa, bladder, rectal mucosa are involved and uh, 4B means distance metastasis. So it is quite understandable that the stage 3 is somehow tricky. So you need to remember this thing. Simply you, you can remember that, that A, B, C means A means there are lymph node metastasis. Uh, a few lymph nodes are involved in stage 3b more lymph nodes are involved and stage c means ex extra scapular spread so this was all about vulval cancer thank you friends